Hello everybody, in this tutorial I will explain how to define a model in anti-spice for an ideal diet. A diet is given by this symbol in which the voltage drop has this polarity and the current flows in this direction. The relation between current and voltage is given by an exponential function, which is actually called the Shockley equation. We draw here an exponential function of current as a function of V, of tension. So we can write that E is actually proportional to exponential function of the voltage. More specifically, we should have more parameters here and um, expressing this, uh, mm, this relation with the Shockley equation. Anyway, this is the real diet. But actually, if we want an ideal model of this component, we can approximate this nonlinear curve with two linear segments. So that we can approximate the black curve with the red curve, in which we have two linear segments. That is to say that we approximate that the current of the diode is zero below a certain value which we call VF, like forward voltage. And then when the voltage of the diode increase above this value, the same diode stay has a fixed voltage drop equals to VF. The red curve represents the ideal model of a junction diode. Let's write this here. Now we want to implement this in LT spice. So we open a new schematics, we build a simple circuit in which we have a voltage source, a resistor, and a generic diode. We close the mesh, the wiring all the components, and then we will define a specific model of the diode so that we have this behavior with the red line. We also add a ground here. And now we focus our attention on the diode. We, with the control button, we push the control button and right click on it. So we have this window and here we define a new value for the name of this component. We call it my diode and push OK. And now with the SPICE directive by pushing this button dot OP, we define the model relative to this component by writing dot model my diode D capital D like the, the diode family and then parentheses and inside here we define some parameter R on equal zero which means which means that the Serial resistance, serial resistance of the diode is equal to zero. This equals to say that this segment is vertical. Then we define R off equal one mega ohm, which means that when it's off, the impedance of the diode is one mega ohm. And finally, V forward with this letter equal zero dot seven. We define with this parameter, actually, this parameter here. We click on OK. We define this command line here. And then we define a simulation. Edit simulation command. This is sweep. We will sweep, we will sweep this source, V1, linearly between minus 1 and 2 with an increment of 0 0.1 okay click we define values for the voltage source this value 0 volt the resistor we put 1 kilo ohm and we are ready to launch our simulation run and we have it so we now can plot the current flowing the diode as a function of V1 and also plot it 
point by point like this. This say to us that we have zero current below 0 0.7 volt and we have a slope given by the one kilo ohm resistor above 0 0.7. If we want to have the this curve of the diode, we actually have to plot the current E as a function of the voltage of the diode, which is actually this voltage here, which is named VN002, as you can see on the left bottom corner, corner of the window when you place the cursor on the point. So we go to the plot on the horizontal axis, we push, we right click there, and we change this V1 for V and 002 so that we will plot exactly we will plot the current flowing to the diode as a function of the voltage drop of the same diode and we have exactly the curve that we expect to linear segment approximation as we wanted in our ideal model thank you for listening